Hey, good evening, everybody. It is Andrew Piotrowski for Engearman.com. And today I'm out here after a paddle out in the Chesapeake Bay uh, in my barn here, just putting some gear away. Um, tonight I was out actually on this inflatable paddle board. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a new board I'm testing from Boat. Um, but today we're here to review this awesome pack from the same company, Boat. And it's B O T E. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they make some awesome gear. They make a ton of inflatable paddle boards, inflatable furniture. Um, somewhere back there, right back there, I have an inflatable kayak tandem that I tested from them, which is awesome. Um, comes with these inflatable seats that I take to the beach. Really cool. Make some other cool gear like this uh, giant cooler I tested a few years ago. Uh, but I'm super stoked on this pack. So this is the high water belt pack. It's designed to be worn around your waist. I guess you could wear it over the shoulder as well. Yeah, there's plenty of space. Um, this is a fully waterproof and submersible belt pack. Um, so real quick, let me tell you kind of what I've used it for, and then we'll go through the features. So I've tested this all summer. This thing is freaking awesome when it comes to holding a good amount of gear and keeping it dry and safe. Um, I've used it probably the majority of the time on one of my paddle boards or kayaks. Um, I love it because I can put it on around my waist, put all my gear in it, put my life jacket on, and then launch my boat and go hands-free. You know, when I carry a different dry bag, a lot of times I have to carry the dry bag, put it on the boat. Here, it just is almost all my waist, it's out of the way, and it's perfect. Um, I wear it typically with an over-the-top vest-style life jacket. Um, if I'm wearing my belt life jacket, ones that are real small and inflate, I usually wear this in the front and that in the back. Um, it could maybe interfere with a little belt pack uh, life jacket, so maybe test it out with your specific vest or life jacket, whatever you're using. But it works really well with an over-the-top life jacket. Just put it on and forget it. Um, this thing's also awesome for really anything you want to keep dry. I used it recently. We were down in Outer Banks. We went out to a beach bar right by the water. There was lots of waves, water, drinking, things where people maybe lose their phone or get things wet. I wore this around my waist, kept my phone dry. It was great. I wear it when I take my daughter to the playground or the pool. Um, it can be used for a million different things, but let's go through the features. So the whole outside is made of this they call it gator skin nylon and it's like bomb proof um it's not it's not heavy but it is pretty thick and it has a really nice structure to it so if you have something heavy in here which i'll show you i have a radio in here right now it doesn't sag doesn't bulge keeps everything nice um so starting from the front it's got this two molly systems here these are nice you can put a carabiner in there um, I've used them to help secure this to my paddleboard if I'm putting it on my board of the deck of my board. Also has this cool D-ring here. Same thing, same concept. Um, on the side, another Molly loop here. Um, same thing on this side. I have a carabiner on here right now. I have my water bottle looped to this. I just took it off. I didn't want it to get in the way. On both sides, you have this cool thing here. It's like this four point connector. I'm not really sure what we call that. Um, same thing on this side, and it has this compression strap that came with it. Um, I did keep, uh, I have a dive knife that I was keeping on here for a little while, but since I have this like on my inflatable a lot, I don't really want the dive knife hanging off, so I took it off. So in the front here, we have this cool zipper pocket, and these, these nylon zippers are like super waterproof and open really easy. These, I have not lubricated these all summer. They do come with a nice lubricating like wipe. Um, you can see how easy it opened, even after being submerged in salt water probably like 50 times this summer. So this front pocket is awesome for a phone. I got my phone in there, fits in there no problem, even with the big case on it, and closes right up. Going to the main compartment here. Remember, this is 3.5 liters, so it holds a good amount of gear. Open this thing right up here. And I got a lot of stuff in here, and if you can see, there's a lot of room. So like, this is just kind of my daily light paddle kit. I paddled about six miles today. Um, I have a tourniquet. You never know when you're going to need one of those. Hopefully never. A little med kit. Um, always keep a knife handy. Got a headlamp. You know, if you get stuck out in the water, stranded, break a paddle, you never know. This is the light I always like to keep with me. 
Um, this is the bulky item that I keep in here. This is a little waterproof submersible VHF radio. It's not light. As you notice, it wasn't bulging out of the back, but I keep this one out in open water. Tonight it was out pretty far, so it's there in case you need to call the Coast Guard or something like that. Point is, it held all that gear and still had room for a water bottle that I had in here and my very light Patagonia jacket fits in there. Um, there's also another zipper pocket inside, and I keep my wallet in there and my car keys. So tons of space in here, and I actually didn't even notice this till just now, so we're going to go through it. There's another zipper pocket in the front here where you could keep something else, maybe keys, wallet, ID, whatever. But tons of organization, tons of space, and a pretty simple design, meaning there's not a million pockets. The All the three little ones are in here, and you have one out here. Easy to keep it organized. And now going to the back of this thing, it's got this real big buckle. It is easy to use, easy to buckle, easy even with one hand, no problem. And one of my favorite features is this padded backrest here. It's maybe about a half inch or an inch of padding in here. Doesn't add a lot of weight and it keeps it really nice against your back. A lot of times you wear this with no shirt on or a rash guard or something and you're wet. It doesn't rub. It's really nice, really comfortable. So there's still a bunch of time left this summer. Depending on where you live, there's plenty of warm weather left. Um, so if you're looking for a pack to wear to whatever, paddling, the water park, out with your kids, riding your bike, you name it, something to keep things organized, dry, and safe, I would definitely check out this high water pack from Boat. And I put a bunch of stuff in the review with some details on some of the technical specs. Thanks.